What is going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today we have another Madden 22 video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to get a free 84 team builder and which one you should pick to help build your squad. If you're enjoying these tip videos, make sure to hit that like button down below. It really helps me know if you're enjoying the tip videos or not and I can go into a different direction or continue with this with this these tip videos moving forward. All right, so here we go. We're into the game right here. As you can see, I'm on the, the main hub. If you scroll over to Team Affinity, okay? Click on Team Affinity and it will show you how to get a free team builder. It's gonna be a non-auctionable 84 overall team builder. And this is what you need to do. You need to complete um, seven out of these activities. So there's 10, acti there's 10 activities, you gotta complete only seven. As long as you complete seven, that's all you need and you'll get a free 84 team builder. So let's go in here and have a look with what you need in order to get one. All the ones that are not highlighted are ones I already completed, like getting 15 sacks, forcing 10 fumbles, Pass for a 1,500 yards, score 300 points, score 20 passing touchdowns. So things like that. You can also do the rushing for 1,000 yards. You can do score 20 rushing touchdowns or intercept 10 passes. Whichever you get first, whichever seven you do first, doesn't really matter. Once you complete seven, you will be getting a free pack. I'm going to show you which pack you get and what's our, what are inside there. All right, and then you can see Nat Team Builder Fantasy Pack. I'm going to click it, and you're going to see all the 64 players that you can choose from. I'm going to go through one by one which ones you should pick, all right? I'm gonna give you like my top, my top 10, I guess. I like to, I'm gonna give you like my top five and then I'll give you the second five that like if you don't like any of those five, then you can go with these ones. But my first, my first five are gonna be the ones that you're probably gonna to wanna to pick from. So here, you pick any team you want, all right? And I'm gonna tell you which ones you should probably go after, okay? So there's all the teams, you pick one and you can pick either the defensive or the offensive player from that team. You only get one choice, okay? So use that wisely. The first one that I have here on the screen, we're on MuttGG. Shout out to them for putting this website together. It's so great. If you need anything, definitely go and check out MuttGG. They got everything you need to know, like theme teams, prices, all of that. Go and check it out. So we have 84 uh, Nasir Adderley. Probably the, my, my, the best card that I think came out of the team builders right now. You can see... It's a free safety, six feet tall, okay? 89 speed, which is solid. 89 jumping, which is really, really good as well. So you can see the, the different stats on there. I think this card will be really useful for at least the first month of Madden. And then once we get better cards, it'll go, probably won't be worth it anymore. And you can use these Nat players to put it into the exchange as we could talk about that a little bit later moving forward. All right, so that's my first choice, my number one choice if you have to pick someone, it's gonna be this Adderley right here. The second one that you can go after as well is gonna be this uh, Legereus Sneed. He's a um, six foot cornerback, 89 speed. His jumping is 88, so he can definitely get to those interceptions as well. His, his agility is, a little, is okay, his acceleration is good. All right, so there's a bunch of different stats on the screen right there. It's got man is 79 and zone is 76, but that speed is really, really helpful. I've noticed speed with the cornerback is really important this year, okay? So that is my second choice. It's gonna be the Sneed right there. Number three, we have Deshaun Jackson, all right? If you need a wide receiver, a budget beast for wide receiver right here is going to be this card. You can see wide receiver at 89 speed. He's gonna be able to burn a lot of corners out there. Okay, 5'10", so it's a little bit, he's a little bit small, but like I said, the speed is really, really big there. 80 catching as well, all right? This is the, probably the one that you're gonna wanna go after if you need an offensive player on your team. All right, the next one I have is gonna be Fabian Morrow. He's another cornerback, six feet tall, 90 speed, okay? Jumping is at 87, so this card will also be another really good budget beast early on the year, especially with that 90 speed. It won't get beat too much, for, for on on when you have a receiver running a streak or whatnot, so this is a not this is not bad. This is gonna be my fourth choice right here. If you want another corner, it's gonna be right here, okay, on Atlanta. Another wide receiver that you can pick up within the top five of my choices is gonna be this Chase Claypool. You can see 87 speed. He's got his 84 catching. Okay, lots of good stats right there. 80 uh, short route running, catching traffic is not bad. Okay, deep route running is an 82. So these stats are pretty solid, especially at an 84 
Um, I could be a, it's really a good budget piece for you. Like you can definitely use this for a little while. I know the speed's not like in the 90s, but it's still really solid early on in the game. Now some of my honorable mentions. At number six, I have Joke. Okay, he's a, a outside linebacker. He's six foot two, 89 speed, which is really really fast for a linebacker. Again, I put this like further down my list just because of linebackers and how they play in the game. Whether they're really, like, if they, they end up animating and things like that, that's why I have him at number six. But a really good option, especially if you have a Browns theme team. Next on the list, I have OJ Howard, another solid tight end. However, the reason why I have him so far down the list here is because when everyone starts getting Kyle Pitts as their rookie premiere, I don't really think this card is going to be that useful anymore. So, obviously, like, if, you don't, if you're not going to go with... The, you're not going to go with the rookie premier Kyle Pitts. This might be your budget beast instead of bringing him out there. 85 speed. Catching is an 81. All right. So this is not a bad tight end, especially if you're not going to go grab Kyle Pitts. But I do think Kyle Pitts will be the best tight end in the game for a little while. Next, we have Sean Murphy Bunting. All right. Another corner. 88 speed. Not too bad. His man and zone are 79 and 76. His jumping is 89. Again, plays pretty well. Okay. He's got that speed. So another card that you can grab in my top 10. We've got Antonio Gibson next. Um, if you're looking for a running back, this might be the one to grab as a free 84. If you didn't go with Sean Alexander or you're not picking up like a Derrick Henry or they're too expensive, you can also, the only reason why I'm not putting this really high on the list either is because we are going to be getting an 89 Saquon very, very soon with the Superstar promo. So this card might be like a depth running back. Maybe put him at like number two or number three. This could be a really good card just to like hang on there for depth wise. And the last one, last card I have here for the free 84 team builder is going to be this Justin Fields. If you need a QB and you're not interested in grabbing, you're not really interested in grabbing like the Mahomes or the Brady or... I guess the Trevor Lawrence. This Justin Fields might be really nice to try out. He's got that 87 speed, his 88 throw power. Deep throw accuracy is an 81 as well. So decent stats, really, really good. Again, for at least the first month, this card is going to be pretty good to get around there. He's 6'3". That speed is really good. You can definitely get out of the pocket really easy in this game. So I definitely think this is going to be a decent card to use early on as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, you get these for free. So again, you don't have to pay coins for them. All you got to do is do a few challenges. You get these for free. So you're saving coins by not um, spending it. And then you can use those coins on different methods. So if you saw my method about the get a player packs or the playbook method, those ones are still working. Save those coins that you would buy a team builder and use those coins to build your coin stack. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope all this information was informative. Remember, every time you don't spend coins, you're saving coins and you can put that coin to better use. So getting a free 84 to start here will make you save at least 40, 50,000 coins that they are worth right now. And you can turn that into coins using the get a player method or the playbook method that I posted earlier on the channel. So go and check that out, all right? Like I said, I love making you all coins, so any support you give me really does help the channel. So hit that sub button, hit that like button, turn those noti bells on, and I'll catch you with another one very soon.